Hey guys, what's up? It's Abby, and today I'm going to be doing a stasher bag review. What are stasher bags? Stasher bags are to be used in place of plastic bags or Ziploc bags, and you can boil them, freeze them, steam them, put them in the microwave, and they're also dishwasher safe. One of my friends from church introduced me to these last year, and then I bought my very first one, which is in the color aqua, and is a sandwich bag size, and then kind of fell in love with it and ended up buying this one in clear. And then for Christmas this year, my brother got me this half gallon size. I believe that I bought my first one directly from the stasher site but I know that they're also on Amazon and then the second one I bought was on the package free shop and then I did a little bit of research online and it looks like they're all over in Target. Whenever I buy a product I like to make sure that I'm also buying from a brand that I like and want to support so a little bit of background on stasher itself was that it was founded by a mom and daughter of a nutritionist her name is Kat I believe and she basically just wanted to make sure that she was having things that weren't harmful for her children and she had already been working with silicone and doing design and branding for that and then she came up with this idea which I think is really cool and Stasher overall just promotes zero waste slash sustainable living as well as plastic free and how you can reduce your waste in the world and protect the environment which I really enjoy and they are B Corporation certified. And a fun fact is if you have a damaged stasher bag, you can send it back into them and they will repurpose them for playground pebbles. Moving on to the bag itself, I'm going to read exactly what their definition is of silicone. So from their site, it says silicone is made from sand or silica and carbon, which are natural resources that give the bags the purity of glass and functionality of plastic, and they are made of 100% pure platinum grade silicone, which is a higher standard, which is a standard even higher than food grade silicone, which passes all US safety requirements and tougher European standards. And what I read about silicone myself is that it is a synthetic material, which is still recyclable and a lot safer than plastic. If you're wondering where they're made, which I always like to know where things are made, they are designed in California and then made responsibly in China. So like I said, I've had this bag for about a year now and it seems to just be going strong. I always pretty much keep trail mix in this one or some type of snack and throw it in my backpack or my purse, which is really nice to just have on the go. And then also though, like I tend to use them for food, but on their site, they have a blog now with just a ton of posts of different ways to use them. Like, I want to try making popcorn with this one, just throwing some kernels in and adding some butter or oil and then seeing what happens. I found that the sandwich size bags just overflowed with the kernels way too quickly for me. But you can also keep different types of items like any other plastic bag that you don't want to get wet, especially when you're traveling. So I haven't really used these for product products, but I definitely might start to, especially if I'm traveling or on the go. A few of the pros for me are that I really like the look of them overall. They just are very simple and minimalistic and go with pretty much anything that I'm carrying. I also love that they are dishwasher safe. It really helps for the cleanup and yeah, it makes it a lot more convenient. I also like the availability of the different size options. So there's this size, the half gallon, and then an even smaller one, which is just for little knickknacks and such. So those seem to be, I believe, the main three. There might be more, but those are really the ones that you would be using the most anyways. Lastly, I just like that they are eco-friendly overall. Um, that you can send them in to be recycled and that you're not using a bunch of different plastics to store things in is really nice. Well, there are a couple cons for me and the first one would just be the fact that it isn't disposable but that's just kind of how these products work the point is that you can reuse them over and over again it's just when you're on the go and you want to be able to just throw something away and you can't because you want to keep the product but you know I think that's just me needing to change my lifestyle a little bit and just us in general as consumers being more aware of the things we're throwing out and taking better care of the things that we already have so that's just something I need to get over but then the second one would be just washing because sometimes I will get like I'll steam my carrots and I'll put carrots and oil and pop them in the microwave and I found that the oil just stays in there forever so it takes it a while to wash out and then also this clear one started to stain a little bit 
but it said that on the site as I was reading it and how to kind of take care of those stains and also just to coordinate better with the colors that you buy and the things that you're cooking in them. Those are pretty much my only cons. Otherwise, I just have so many pros and love for this product because the price point is good. Um, I don't think, I think they are a little bit more on the pricey side, but they're an investment and that's how things should be. They shouldn't just be cheap and cheaply made. Um, I believe the quart size are $12 and the half gallon is 20 and I'm not sure about the little one, maybe 10 or 9 but overall, for as long as I've had this one and just thrown it around, it seems to be handling the wear and tear really well and hasn't really shown any signs of distress or anything bad. Alright, I think that that is it for this video. If you guys have any more sustainable products that you'd like to tell me about or you have stasher bags and have your own pros and cons or questions, please make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!